Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Connected to the... To my AirPods, so it should be rolling. What's up? What's up? Let me share this with the team. All right. Let me get my screen shared up. Do, 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 do. I don't know if you guys can see this here. All right, cool. Cool. Welcome, Taoki and Shaniqua and Great Bread. Happy to have you. Happy to have you. So we'll be looking at a couple of things this morning before market opens. We'll build out a watch list and get rolling. Uh, I am trading from uh, the Oklahoma area today. So I'm outside and beautiful weather right on the lake. Um, just beautiful here. So, um, taking advantage of the, of the outdoors for sure. So, um, hopefully volume's okay. For whatever reason, you guys can hear me well, let me know. Uh, and I will get that fixed, but, um, let's look at, before we get started, let's look at any news. Um, let's look at any news. So it should be pretty clear today. It is Tuesday, the 21st. We have some fed speakers, but I don't think anything crazy. Um, nothing crazy. So, um, shouldn't be too big of an, of an issue. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. Perfect, Tim A. Love it. Love it. Good morning, Pat. All right, let's take a look. So I, I'm in, I am in a shop swing basically. I mean, yesterday they closed at like break even. I was down maybe like $12. Um, and then, so coming into tomorrow I'll probably, or coming into today, I'll probably be down, you know, 50 bucks, 75 bucks. So um, I don't know how long, much longer I'll hold this. Basically got in at this change in trend off the of demand bounce from about three months ago. Um, still just kind of waiting for price to come up. Um, so yeah, we'll see kind of what happens. Nice little one to 1 1.3 hour trade. Again, still in it, but more of a swing. Not really looking at it today. Don't really love anything about it today. Um, looking at potential setups for today, obviously I trade triple line method. So, um, want to look for days where a previous day was more range bound, which may be a little bit harder today. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look and see if any, any stocks meet that parameters. I think Google would for potential longs, uh, let's take Microsoft off. Um, RTY can come off. That's IWM. Uh, Amazon is pretty much dominated by sellers there. But I could add, I mean, technically, technically speaking here, we can come up. We can see a nice push higher, but we are in a downtrend. I'm just going to put that away and let's look at SPY. SPY, kind of the same thing. If we can get up above these highs, can play up to middle line. Uh, let's look at AMD. It's going to be a little bit choppy. Equal highs. Nope. Might be a rough day, honestly. Meta could, Meta could be playable if we get inside. Are we hitting any demand here? We are going to be hitting some demand on, on Meta. So I do like this trade a lot. I, I could even play the, the move down into demand and push higher. Um, I like that a lot. Um, Tesla. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Tesla looks good too. <clears throat> Probably going to be more of a, ideally it's, it's like this. Right? Ideally we get, sorry. Ideally, we get move up, move back down, pull back, move lower. Ideally, um, but since we're opening up inside, I'm going to throw it as a neutral, really play either way. And then let's look at Qs. 
Uh, similar to Spy, I just don't like it as much. I just don't like it as much. Um, let's look at that one. Don't like it either. Yeah, I think this has some good potential for sure. Again, we're opening up like down here. Again, I just have regular trading hours on. Uh, let's see if we can find any like SD type plays. We do have a demand zone down in here on ES on 514. So we could come down and see that. Um, has it, or Amazon's been a, like in an uptrend, but low key in a downtrend lately. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't really see anything I love here. It's kind of windy. It was beautiful yesterday. I mean, we have the man down in here, but. Not really fresh. Let me just get, get off of that chart. Is there anything you guys are looking at specifically? No, it's uh, honestly, Kyle. It's super nice here. Like, I don't. We've never even heard of it. We've heard of this place. Where this is where we are. Like, uh, so we are like right. Right here, like on, I guess it's called Monkey Island, the world market, Grand Lake, some nice condos right on the, the lake. It's super pretty, but like we're like in the middle of Oklahoma, like right on the edge of Oklahoma. Like, what the heck? Who thought there were, who knew there was water here? <laughs> right? Like, it's so nice. I guess people from Tulsa, if anyone's from Tulsa, you know, but we're like an hour from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, but so nice. It's so nice. It's a big, uh, like, golf oasis, if you will. Big golf oasis. Um, uh, Ryan's looking at NEM for long. NEM, 50% pullback for long on a higher time frame, I assume. Um, so we have the change in trend that occurs right in here. Ryan is looking for. Thank you for the sub, Sadar. Looking for a pullback into this region. I like it, bro. I like it. Chug it up to like right there. I like it. I think that's a that's a good setup for sure. Nice little change in trend. We still haven't really like like if we zoom way out. I don't know, dude. Yeah, that looks like a significant trend change there for sure. Like if you have trend change down, breaking out of it. I like it, dude. It looks really good. It looks really good. Now you just need the pullback. short TLM. Yeah, we just had a pretty, it's a, it's more of a trendy day. Um, it would be okay, but I honestly, I'd rather, I would rather play longs personally. I'd rather like to see boom, stop on the low. And we also like pull back 50% from this though. Come back inside. Uh, but if we open up, if we come out and, and then the only play is short. So I'll, I'll mark it as a neutral for you, Gavin. We'll see what happens. My daughter's right looking at me at the window. <laughs> no, I like it. We'll see what we can get. We'll see what we can get. Go ahead before market opens. Go ahead and like the video down below. Uh, and if you don't, subscribe to the YouTube. I just got one this morning already from Mr. Sadar himself, the man. I almost blame you're saying your name right. Sadar. Um,
Oh, you have daily supply up above. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The show. For show. For show. Yeah, seems promising. Big, pretty big move though. For that to do that and then come back inside. Be more like we come up and hit supply today and then tomorrow we start to dump. Todd is looking at DraftKings. Perfect. Love it. I'm so glad that I'm saying it correctly. Good morning, Antonio. Happy to have you, man. Happy to have you. And then Jordan posted a TL and Q trade. Let's look at it. Um, well, let me post my watch list. I always forget to do that. I always forget to do it when I'm live because it's like anyone that cares about my watch list is in the call. So. So, uh, what's his name? He's looking for a little scalp on five minute demand down below. And this here, playable for sure. I think that even shows up like on a 30. I would rather play, I would much, where were you opening at? Eight, six, eight, five. Yeah, I like it. I would like to look for a confirmation piece there. I'd like to see a boom, 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 boom. That's what I like to see. So, yeah, definitely let's keep it on watch for sure. Maybe I need to create it like a new, like an on watch at supply and demand and a TLM. Uh, watch this. Thing. I don't know. What they like about AMD, what they say. Probably do they like shorts or I assume it's TLM. I don't know, but it doesn't really look like a great TLM setup. I mean, we're coming down into some demand here, but this demand didn't break a high. So or make a new high. So I don't really know. I don't know, dude. I don't know what they like about it. Morning, Robert. Morning. You know, let's look at let's look at DK and G before market opens. Yeah, the only thing is, I guess if you go to like a daily chart, I mean, really, I would say your pullback kind of already happened. You get your break right there. Your retrace. I mean, it's okay. Let me just erase these. It's okay. But it's like at this point, I'd like to see, you know, maybe a high get taken out now. Still, I mean, we're kind of like stuck right here. It's like we haven't done anything. So it's like, are we actually going to do anything, you know? Um, could play that though, just make your stop below 30, like a below that 40 or 38, whatever it is. Big dump on Google. Let's see what we can get. Um, I only have one screen, so I want to be able to look at the chat and trade for what, what right it open here. So if there's anything that's getting posted, uh, I'll get to it in a second. Google dumped, um. Spy, so I need spy above here. I need Google back in here. I need meta. I need meta either here or here. I need Tesla's looking good. I think Tesla was neutral. Okay, so Tesla back in here. ES up in here. NQ down in here and Apple. We pop out. We didn't pop out, right? No. 
Dang, we're probably gonna rotate too. Could potentially if we break this high, if we break that high, we could just like avoid TLM, play a pullback. We kind of like target up to like here, or like up to here. Um, look to look to play that. Uh, Google alert went off. Meta alert went off. Uh, Google's looking setting up for TLM really nice. I just don't have a valid stop. Gonna need some type of pullback. Gonna need a pullback here. So let's go ahead and set an OCO. At, let's do it at 177.9. Ideally, I'd like to see us break that high, but I think that's aggressive enough buying. Sorry, I'm so close to the camera. <laughs> Let's take a peek at it. Yeah, if we can pull back to, let's just say, I mean, anything like 178, 177.9 doesn't really matter. Uh, I think Google has good potential. I just feel like I'm in slow-mo without all my screens. Not even all my screens, just a couple screens. Stop is 60 cents. 178, 177.9. Like four. Order will mark at or below 177.9. Obviously, we'd like to see that high break, but I'd like to have seen this high break first, but still like it. So waiting on entry here. Um, yeah, shop's kind of looking in the, the pooter. Uh, Meta's looking really good. Oh, I think we got the pullback already. That's a pretty wide stop. Dang, I think we already got the pullback. Took out the supply here. Uh, I don't I don't love this stop. It's so far. $2.50. I don't know. I don't know if we get a pullback. It's gonna rotate. It's gonna rotate for sure. I just don't really like that stop. So all good. Um, should be getting filled here. Yeah, should be gotten filled on Google. Um why did I not get filled? 177.93, 177.9. Oh, I got filled. Okay. I got filled. Got filled on Goog. So my OCO target and stop. Not looking too hot. Again, we really like to have seen that high get taken out. Kind of an aggressive entry. Seventy-seven point two five. Risk is managed, though, as always. Take a look. I got my OCO set there, dude. Meta, I like, but. I want a bit a little bit of risk reward. I really like this. What's that stop? Two dollars and fifty cents. Let's look at meta. Maybe like one contract. Was that a dollar and fifty cents or two dollars? Two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, let's do it. Ride Meta here. Two contracts on Meta. See what we can do. Stop below the low. Put my OCO in there too. Mark at or above. Got those locked and loaded in. We'll see what happens. Spy needs to come up. Tesla's gonna be done. Really nice move. 
QQQ bouncing, but not at demand. Apple pushed. You could still play this pullback, like I talked about. Like, you basically erase TLM. Still play this kind of pullback. You'd like to see. Yeah, unfortunately, you'd like to see that move, that pullback happen run right there. But dang, it just didn't pop out. Google's kind of turning around. Google's looking okay. Meta's still not. So keep an eye on that. But personally, like I like the Meta trade better than Google. But yeah, Meta's just gonna do Meta things, I guess. Um. If Meta does meta things, whatever. We'll see what can happen here. Again, everything's managed. Losses are managed. So uh, let me look at chat. All right. The quantity is I'm doing option contracts. Um, I'm doing option contracts. So it comes down. To, so I always look at my estimated. So on Thinkorswim, it shows you like a, there's a tool called the analyze tool. It shows you based off your stop or your, you know, your based off the difference in the underlying, how much will you lose? Again, you can also just read Delta, but it's easier to use the analyze tool. And then it tells me, okay, like if I only want to lose a max of $200 on each trade, that's my max loss. So that means I'm going to never lose more than 200. I'm, I'm going to win over 200 every single time, right? I want to look at the analyze tool and see, you know, how close I can be. So if it's, if the, like on meta, Stop was pretty wide. I did two contracts on Google. Stop was a little tighter. I did four contracts, but it just comes down to what my estimated loss is. So like right now, again, Meta hitting my stop, um, or it's really close. Um, actually, hasn't hit it yet. Um, like I'm down 165, right? Which is perfect, right? That's exactly where I want to be within my risk parameters, right? Had I done the same amount of contracts, had I done four contracts every single time on every trade. I would be losing a lot more, right? So it's always good to calculate your estimated risk. Again, Google is looking really good. Google, I'm sitting really good. I'm up a hundred bucks and I'm not even halfway to my take profit yet. All right, so that looks really good. That means my risk is perfect. All right, that means my risk is perfect. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Google's pushing. So we'll, we'll see on Meta, like if Meta can hold, you know, I, I did not get stopped out. My stop is at 166 even. So lucky enough, I did not get stopped out there. Now this just needs to rotate up. We should be good. Did NQ here do anything? NQ nothing yet. ES nothing. Spy nothing. Apple. Apple's going to be done. Apple was so clean to the upside, bro. It just didn't pop out like what well, freaking one cent. But that break that break right there should have triggered me for sure. Had the risk reward been there. Eh, it wasn't even there, so no stress. So what can we can do? Again, this will probably end up being a loss. It'll probably end up being a loss. But risk is managed. I would I would actually just be I would be shocked if it turned around. But we get, again, we get lower, move higher, we break. Again, fast reversal could indicate a potential stop hunt there. But since we took out, the reason I took it, we took out supply and we took out this high. So I was thinking, hey, pretty good chance we're going to rotate higher. Like it doesn't work. It's not foolproof, but uh, again, pro game of probabilities there. And we just need to see this push. Again, crossing the middle line is huge for TLM. That, that gives me a good indication that we're going to push higher. We do have a little five minute supply here that we kind of hit. So again, it's something to be mindful of for sure, but um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. Um, meta hit stop, meta hit stop. But again, lost 207, like that's perfect. That's exactly where I want to be risk wise. So that's perfect. That is perfect. Again, I'm going to lose 40% of my trades, right? I know I am, right? So, again, the only thing I can tr control is my risk. If I, w if I was 100% winner, crater, right? You guys probably wouldn't even know who I was. <laughs> you 
can do. I mean, there is supply there. So, I mean, if, if that's top, that's top. But I like the probabilities here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Anything else I'm missing? Kind of probably done, honestly. Um, yeah, so wait. Would you move your Google stop to 177.53? No, that's not a logical stop yet until this high is taken out. Once that high gets taken out, then yeah. Because this is the high that created the lowest low. So you don't want to see. So that's a strong low if we break structure. Uh, do I buy weekly contracts? Yes. So with the triple line method, I buy up to one DTE. And then on Fridays, I play next week. And then on supply and demand, I typically have about five DTE minimum. And if I ever swing it, I do minimum of two weeks. Um, you're probably on Google. I'm trading Goog without the L. And then uh, what's his name? Ryan's looking at QCOM. Yeah, really good potential here. Really good potential. What are what are spreads like on QCOM? Yeah, it, it's it doesn't matter. It's just different pricing. It moves the exact same. One uh, the difference is one has shareholder rights, one doesn't. I think that's right. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. Spreads aren't bad on QCOM. So my stop is dollar eighty, dollar twenty. This is area one ninety six. Let's freaking run it, bro. I'm down. I'm down to run it. I'll do a limit order though. If I can move this, here we go. Let's freaking run it. Let's see. So QCOM, just gonna try it out. Never traded it. Feeling frisky. I put a limit or limit uh, order, and I got filled. Perfect. Let's run it, bro. The spreads are a little wider than I'd like, um, but that's why I did a limit order. I'm not going to set an OCO stop or take profit yet. But, again, it, it seems like it moves pretty well. So, a lot of volatility in it. But yeah, we have lower. We have low. We have take out supply, right? Pull back. Now it's time to first start of the uptrend. So, we'll see what happens. Um, Google, we'll see. The whole market's just going to turn and dump. Let's see, really nothing here yet. Let's take that off. That's not going to pull back. Ryan, if, if the QCOM trade hits, I'm going to have you do live trading uh, tomorrow in the Slack. <laughs> yeah, I took my Microsoft off due to that gap up. We need to take this low out. I don't love it. It's just going to be, it's just going to, the window's going to be so tight. Like you're going to need boom. And like you have to put your stop up here. 
So like even at a perfect entry, you, you don't even have a good, you barely have a good risk reward. So it's just like not really super likely to work in my, like to, to play out that way. If it does, it will probably work, but to actually play out that way, it's less likely. Yeah, Qcom's ripping, bro. I'm telling you, dude, you're leaving live. I'm, my sizing might have been off because I'm, what the heck? My sizing might be a little off on Qcom. I'm up a little bit too much for this. I mean, I did get a good fill, but like I'm up 120 bucks. That would mean like if I was down here, I'd be down like 300. What is my stop? It's a dollar. It's a dollar fifty, right? That's literally what I calculated. So from right here down to 196.2, that is $200. Yeah. What's Meta doing? Here you go, Meta. Meta is also the CEO of freaking Stop Hunt. And in my opinion, like I wouldn't change anything about that trade. So, uh, yes, an NQ flat. They're kind of diverging a little bit. Could just be a chop day. IWM is coming inside. Hello. Um, yeah, but where the heck are you putting your stop? I, I typically trade IWM on futures. It'd be really nice if we can get above this supply. It'd be smooth rotation i'll throw it in but like let's say we enter right there stops there it's like uh, i don't know really need to see a lower high form <laughs> She's so cute. there we go that's nice That's what we want to see, baby. Oh, I kind of dumped, didn't it? Come on. Wicked right into that supply. No, market's tanking. Well, I do like this setup, but I just don't have a valid stop. So that's the only thing. That's the only thing I don't like about it is I don't have a valid, I don't have a good stop with good risk reward. <laughs> pump it, pump it. But I love talking to my positions. Talk to me nice. Talk to me. <laughs> Dude, Google looks really good. I don't know what the heck this was. We got, uh, again, there's really nothing, really nothing today. I mean, so we got a speaker at nine, but I don't think he's gonna, like, anytime it doesn't say Powell, CPI, PPI, FOMC, like, I don't really care. We do have minutes tomorrow. PMI is kind of a big one too. Um, it's more just like a quick spike, uh, but FOMC minutes tomorrow. But again, but again, the benefit of trading the first hour is I don't have to worry about that stuff most of the time.
should be a really good green day once Google hits and once uh, QCOM hits. Ryan, if QCOM doesn't hit, I'm going to send you a Venmo charge for whatever I lose. <laughs> I do like it though, it looks really good. And it seems like a lot of volatility in the day. Good, nice, you know. Yesterday was pretty trendy. So, but we're with that trend, so we're not fighting it. So, here's be a continuation. Nice Google, nice push. Nice push. Nice. Google hit TP, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, baby. Why is my order not getting filled? There it is. Boom. Let's go, baby. Who caught Google? Did anyone catch Google with me? Anyone? Anyone catch Google? Let me know. Oh, crap. I'm not sharing the right tab. <laughs> Dang it. Boom. On Google. Who caught Google with me? Yes, sir, Ryan. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Making money on the patio at the condo on the lake. You know the water's far away. Yes, sir. Heck of a move. I love to see it. Now can QCOM repeat? Probably not. <laughs> I wasn't even sharing the right tab. But look at that perfect exit, man. That's what it's all about right there. That is what it's all about. Again, stops and exits are perfect. Entries fluctuate. Love to see it. Yeah, so look at this risk management. Okay. Meta, PL on the day, negative 204. Google, PL on the day, plus 244. That's huge. That's exactly what we want, right? That's exactly what we want to see. And honestly, Google should have been about 260 at this freaking spread, but whatever. Um, and now let's watch QCOM. Again, I'm up $44. So I um, kind of want to be careful here. Um, I don't want I don't want to get too many profits back. But nice, dude. Let's go. See. Gabriel's self-sufficient, man. He doesn't need this live trading crap. He's like, I'll just trade on my own. So, yeah, QCOM's looking good. Again, spreads are a little wide. Um, so just be mindful of that on QCOM. So, for example, actually, it's really not bad. It's about nine. Right now, it's about nine between the bid and the ass. So it's really not that bad. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, but after taking the first loss on Meta, came back with a big win on Google, and now looking to see what QCOM can do. Um, again, so I'm up like 40 bucks on the day. Uh, again, mine is my Shopify swing. Um, and we'll just keep a watch on QCOM. Yeah, really, I'm going to go ahead and put OCOs in because really it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, so. so target's going to be, I'm going to target this high at 198.90. And then put my stop below. I'll just do I'll just do 195.7. Perfect. Out of below, out of above. Perfect. Anything on futures cooking up? We could try to scout some futures here. Really nothing, dude. This is more of a risky trade, but I could take that. I don't like it. It's right at supply. I don't like it. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me. Um, yeah, I'm pretty upset with this trade, honestly. I thought it would. Like, we're just doing a lot of nothing. Again, I still have another week and a half until expiration, but. This would be one like if I can get back break even, I'll probably shut it down. But I'm down, I'm down one thirty right now, so it's not even that big of a loss. Okay. 
called Google with the gang. Yeah, M and Q, M and Q with the bounce. One minute the amendment. Yeah, right here. So this would this would actually be not be a bad play. If you took like this, I mean, let's look at like a five. I don't really like playing one minute, but like a five minute demand, stop below this low target, like right, right below here. I don't mind taking that. Let's see what PL would be. I don't mind that. That's more of like supply and demand. Stop below the lowest low. A little bit we were forcing, but not too bad. I'll, I'll do it. Let's do it, bro. If I get filled, perfect. Let's ride it. So kind of playing this five-minute demand. A bounce. One minute, just kind of scalping futures here. We kind of did already hit it, though, so I may miss. But if I enter up here, I throw off my risk to reward. Well, I still have a good risk reward there. There we go. It should get filled. Boom. Let's ride. Let's ride, baby. Let's get it, Caesar. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Nice little one to one. Target right before that supply. Again, that's with that's with um yeah, it's like a let's just see, like a five minute, fifteen minute. See supplies right here. Probably target a little bit higher. Target right in there. All right, now we scalp in future, so let's get it. Yeah, trading view, yep. Where would where would put on meta now? So if you took the trade, you're stuck. We need to go down here, and it's still not really setting up to be a great setup yet. So it's coming back because it's literally the CEO of freaking stop ons, but um, yeah, really nothing yet. I would see why with potential break of structure or potential stop them, but to me that looks more like a break. What would this look like? Just take this off. What would something like this look like? Play that on RTY so, or IWM. And again, just think. Ah, oh, crap. There's the gap down. I like it, though, because we kind of break that high, and I like it with with extended hours on. We could bounce a little bit earlier, but again, I like to keep it losses around, below 500 on futures. Yeah, QCOM, I don't know. This could be a dud. If you can for me, AMD balance. If you can for me, go ahead and like this video. Uh, i got 41 viewers. Go ahead and like it. Uh, that's CLQ. Oh, CLS, 15-minute 15 15 demand. Sorry, Tyrone. Yeah, we have a little bit of demand here. Um, yeah, we do. I could see that holding, but I could also see us pulling a little market structure, shebanga. Actually, we pulled that. No, I like it, dude. I like it. Again, I'd like it. I would snipe that, man. That looks good. Could do that or look for a little one minute, you know, change in trend here. Look for like price to get up above this high to kind of confirm it. Um, a little bit, a little bit more confirmation there. Uh, or even better above this high and pull back. Uh, but no, I like it, especially if we have some increase in volume coming in. Yeah, man. This looks good. That looks really good. Good spot. 
Uh, Meta already so Meta already took and lost on it. Um, it's still playable, definitely still playable. But like, where do you, where the heck do you put your stop now? You put your stop here. Wait for that high to break for confirmation. Like, what the heck? You know, I just don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it now. Um, really good move here. Um, NQ is looking good. Let's see what we can get again. I don't love this target, but we really have. If we t go to extended hours, which is how futures are traded, that's more our supply. So for those reasons, I like it. Um, but QCOM could push. That'd be clutch. 46.48, stop on meta. Four, six, seven, point four, eight. No, you can't put your stop there. I mean, I guess it's demand. Not really, though. Can you, you can't put your stop there because it hasn't retraced 50% from anything. Now, if we had to retrace 50% and we did this, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you can put your stop there. But we didn't retrace 50%, so it's just going to be seen as it, the price could go like this. Right, and now we retrace fifty percent, and you get stopped out. So there's no real straight stop. NQ is looking really good. RTY probably not going to get filled, which is okay. Maybe should have put my entry above this demand. Still wouldn't have mattered, I guess. But NQ is looking good now. QCOM can just follow suit. Like, what are we doing? He just put that five minute supply. That looks really good too. This looks really good. It's primed and ready to blast, boys. You better be sorry. Gabe, Gabriel, you better be sorry. No, I'm just kidding. No, it, I was looking at it too, and that's why I took the first one, but it's it's I love to play the same thing twice if the setup appears, but I don't want to force it that second time. Uh, but yeah, yes is looking good, and Q is looking really good. Um, RTY looks good too. It's not going to get the pullback, so probably just going to. I'm going to go ahead and pull this order, just so it's not, just so I don't forget. Honestly, so I don't forget about it. Um, then QCOM just playing with my heart and soul. Really nice move here, bro. Scalping futures. Still got a little bit greedy on my entry. <laughs> it's one thing I really struggle with. Kind of just forcing. Like, again, I was waiting for a pullback to there. And I've moved the order up to here. Like, it doesn't really change too much at the end of the day, but just more of a self-awareness thing. Let's ride, baby. Let's ride in queue. You know, I appreciate you guys hopping on today. Again, for anyone that is – actually, do this for me. Anyone that's inside of the Freedom Team, right, Comment the word freedom in the comments. I just want to see how many people are in here. Comment the word freedom for me. I love it. I love it. So 1314, that means there's 815. That means there's 25 of you, 26 of you that are not on your path to be consistently profitable. 
with our mentorship program, <laughs> right? I'm just kidding. But um, again, if, if you're looking, if you're like honestly 100, like full transparency, if you're looking for that next level up, if you're looking for help, if you're looking for coaching, for mentoring, go ahead and book a call down below. Uh, you'll hop on with one of our advisors and I'm more than happy to help you out. You can trade the exact way that I am, the exact way these guys are trading that all common at Freedom. Again, awesome group of, of men and men and women. Um, nice. And, you know, that, that's the that's the first step in, in in changing is booking a call and seeing if we can actually help you and you and you specifically and going from there. And with that, I may call it. So I'll, I'll keep Freedom Team updated with QCOM. Uh, again, just, just automated, just OCO'd this. Um, so we'll see kind of how this plays out. Uh, I think my my target might be a little high. Let me move that down to like right there uh, before I head off for the day. Um, you guys got plans today, by the way? Uh, let me move that target down to 198.8. Glenn, my man, love Glenn is always showing up. Glenn's the goat. Let me fix QCOM target there to what I have marked. Um, yeah, let me do that and. That'll fix that. Any discrepancy there? There is a there is a little bit of supply there, so I just want to. I don't want to target past it. Um, NQ. That's a good confirmation bounce there. Um, yeah, these these both look primed, and ready to pop. Uh, but no, again, I appreciate you guys hopping on. Uh, again, if you can for me before we hop off, make sure you like the video. Leave a like on the video. If you don't subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Everything's down below. Scroll down a little bit, right? And post your profits in the vault and in the Slack profits chat. And Caesar, to answer your question, we have minutes, FOMC minutes tomorrow. We've got PMI. Again, let me just send you this link right in the comments. You can go look at it. And you can look at the importance of it, right? Really, the minutes are kind of important, but nothing too great. Awesome. We'll see how everything else plays out. Other than that, y'all have a great rest of your day. I will enjoy the lake. Uh, we're actually leaving tomorrow. We're going to South Texas tomorrow, but um, the the enjoyment of the lake has been great. As you can see, I need to shave. I'm looking a little tan. Just kidding. I'm super white, super pasty, but um, appreciate you guys hopping on. Um, it's, it's always a blast with you guys. And then I'll last but not least, I'll leave in the comment uh, just the opportunity to book a call with our team and with our advisor team. And if it's something that you want to do and something that you want to learn more about and see exactly how we can help, um, please do. And we would be more than happy, more than happy to help. So let me drop that link down below and you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace y'all. And Ryan, you owe me, probably you're going to owe me on QCOM. So you're ready. Peace.